so he was showing us around his um, farm, little farm that he had, chickens and what have you. And we just happened to sort of walk into a, a van because he had a he had an old tractor in there because uh, you know I'm interested in sort of old machinery. And talking about that, it was an old Fordson tractor, big old blue one. And in the corner of the workshop, I, I noticed this green four-wheel drive that was, well, covered in all sorts of stuff, just junk. And uh, I started talking to him about it. I said, well, what are you going to do with that? He said, oh, it's been stuck there for, for years, he said. Kids have ruined it. He said, and, you know, it's going to cost too much to, to do it up. He said, I had a quote on it five or six years ago. It was going to be a couple of thousand then. So I said, can I have a look at it? He said, oh. so I went over and had a look at it, pulled some of the rubbish off it, and it was a Polaris 500. And by what I could make of it, uh, you know, the tyres are all shot, front diffs shot and half shafts are missing and the engine seized so I said to him I said well if you want to sell it I'll, I'll make you an offer I'll give you 500 bucks for it he said well all right then take it away of course I didn't have a trailer with me <laughs> so in a couple of weeks time I'm going to go and pick this up because uh, I plan on completely stripping this, rebuilding the engine, uh, possibly making my own parts other than you know I'll buy a piston and a, and a, a pot for it and find out whatever else is wrong with it and um, completely rebuild it and hopefully have it as good as good as that and uh, I want to make my own possibly make my own um, sort of grass cutter like a, a flail type maybe a flail type um, grass cutter to hitch behind this so I can mow my grass <laughs> Um, now I'm, I'm sort of, I've been looking at sort of, you know, sort of uh, parts for it uh, and I think it's, you know, I could probably get it up like this, you know, new set of tyres, uh, rebuild the engine, rebuild the front diff and whatever else is probably about 1500 bucks. so for two grand, got myself something that's worth about six grand because they're very expensive here in Australia and um, something that would be very handy around the, the farm here you know we've got 12 acres here and uh, it's yeah you, you, you need something like this I am finding I mean I, I've got a I mean, I've got a four-wheel drive yeah car it's, it's, but it's a Mercedes it's an, it's an you know and uh, you don't take that in a paddock. <laughs> I have done, but you know, you're on... It's like walking on glass, you know? Sort of... No, I don't like doing that. Um, so yeah, something that can knock around the farm here and, uh, you know, pull a trailer or... You know, something that will... You can hitch a, a, some sort of mower on the back and, and tow. So I plan on making this a new segment, you know, and do 
I don't know one or two videos a month on on that which I think may interest a lot of people uh, you know I've got the machinery here to make virtually anything virtually so why not let me know what you think I'd be really interested to, to, to know what your views are uh, and if there's anything particular that you would like to see you know whether you'd like to see I don't know because it's got a centrifugal clutch on it and a variable speed drive which I'll probably be rebuilding um, but if it's something there that you would like to see whether it be electrical or I did notice probably I think some of the rats had got to it and uh, eaten some of the wiring so it's probably going to have to be totally rewired um, but it is a total it's an absolute mess you know so it's going to be stripped down every nut and bolt so that's what's coming <laughs> now um, and I will say too um, I did plan on uh, doing a CNC conversion on my big mill over there but I haven't had anybody really make any comment or say anything oh we're looking forward to that not not really so I need this more so I'm going to be doing this this year uh, and if if I, you know, if enough people sort of say to me, oh, I thought, I thought you were going to make the, convert that mill, you know, well, then I'll do it, you know. But um, I haven't got enough work for that here um, as a CNC machine uh, myself. Um, everything, you know, I do on the, the CNC uh, router or my little mill over there you know I can I can always manage but um, as I get older you know I think uh, I'll be doing smaller projects <laughs> but th you know this is one that I can I can manage you know um, I think it'll be very interesting anyway so there's a, a bit of an update for you and, I, and I, I've said this a few times too I do plan on making more videos solely for Patreon um, so I will be doing that in the future too so thank you all for being there and uh, you know if you let me know what you think and uh, if there's something particularly that you would like to see, whether it be this or whether it be CNC router or whatever, drop me a line. Okay then, till next time, bye for now. <laughs>